Is it easier going against him or Sue? Um, I mean, I think Sue's a better, better rounded player, um, but obviously he'll be not as a, he's still a, he's still a tough guy who, who brings it every single play. I mean, man, he's huge. He's strong. He's got, you know, he's, he's tough. He's tough to move. So, uh, yeah, my next feeling pretty sore today, but, uh, man, he's, uh, he's still, he's still one, uh, up there with the, you know, some of the best deep tackles in the game. I mean, he's still got it. Now your, your quarterback basically didn't get touched yesterday. So you guys obviously did a great job. How much of it was how good you guys were, or let's face it, the Lions, you know, without Ziggy and all that, uh, how much was uh, their inability to do anything? Well, I think, you know, that obviously not having Ziggy um, was a big loss. I mean, he's one of the best DNs in the league when it comes to pass rushing. So, obviously, big loss for them. Um, you know, it looked like Devin Taylor was still, I don't know, I saw in the injury report earlier in the week, he kind of rolled his ankle. He kind of, he looked like he really wasn't himself. Uh, he looked like he was beat up a little bit. But uh, overall, I mean, I think it was just as an offense, we got we got our rhythm back, we got our timing back, something that we've been lacking, um, the, you know, the last couple of weeks. And uh, really, it came down. It seemed like the ball was coming out a lot faster uh, than it than it had been, and the receivers were doing a good job. So I think they did a good job on the uh, on the secondary there, working them over a little bit and finding ways to get open and. Uh, you know, Aaron. Uh, Aaron was getting rid of the ball, so it was kind of a, you know, good good mixture of uh, of both. Packers. T.J. Lang joining us here, ninety-seven won the ticket. <laughs> well, what was the last week like for you uh, and and your your offensive teammates? I mean, the national story was what's wrong with the Packers? What's wrong with Aaron Rodgers? What's wrong with the offense? Was that annoying to you? Was that motivating to you? Did you feel like something was wrong, or did you just feel like you guys had a couple of uh, subpar games? I mean, I felt like it was uh, it was pretty annoying, to be honest with you. I mean, it's you know, when, when, but when you look at it, when we, when we sat and talked about it throughout the week, um, we felt like we didn't play our best game against Minnesota, but we also, uh, you know, we, we didn't we didn't fail to give them credit either. I mean, we, we you know we lost to a very good defense there at Minnesota Sunday night game. I mean, they're opening their stadium; it's loud as hell. <laughs> I mean, it's. You factor all those things right. in, it's like, well, you know, I mean, that's that's a tough game, you know, and we didn't play our best, but, hey, we were, we're two games into this thing, so we can't really panic about what people outside the building are saying. And, um, you know, we just kind of put it behind us. And and, and it was it was frustrating on offense because it's been so long now since we kind of had a game like we had in, you know, 2014 when we were scoring 40 points a game <laughs> and we were, you know, the explosive offense. And we've lacked that for so long now that um, – you know, kind of wondering, hey, is, is our identity changed? What do we need to do? Do we need to run the ball more? What do we, you know, <laughs> we got to find these things out. And, and yesterday, I think our main goal was to definitely come out and try to be as balanced as we could. And we, you know, we did that. We were productive on the ground. And obviously, uh, Aaron, Aaron made some big plays uh, in the back again. And, and along those lines, coming out of the week that was, for you guys to get the opening kickoff, Lions won the toss, they deferred. And you just came right down the field. I think the the total drive lasted just over three and a half minutes or something like that. How big was that for you guys to start the game off that way? Yeah, it was huge. It was huge. We uh, we couldn't wait to get back on the field as an offense. Um, you know, after after last week's game against the Vikings. I mean, all week we've just been talking about, hey, we need to get out. We need to set the tone. We need to start fast. We need to get our confidence back because that's something that uh, we have been lacking uh, throughout the last, first couple of weeks. So. Um, it, it was just a, it was a, a great start. I mean, that kind of set the tone for the rest of the day. I think we scored a, every possession we had the ball on in the first half, and uh, obviously, kind of kind of built a big enough lead to where um, it just you know <laughs> kind of goes for the rest of the game. But um, yeah, that was that was huge. First, we always talk about starting fast, and uh, when we go out there and you know for our offense, we go out there, we put points up on the board that first drive. It not only gives us confidence, but it now it gives our defense just tremendous confidence as well to go out there and uh, they know the offense is rolling so they want to get the ball back in our hands and it's just a it's just a huge boost of momentum there for you for the team tj Lang joined us on the uh jamie and stoney show so all the all the, the criticism of rogers and, and things like that statistically you even mentioned that they had you guys offensively hadn't been that good since 2014 some of it seems to be valid did you look at it as valid when you you see the raw numbers in front of you um, yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, we haven't really done a great job adjusting, um, so much in the past. Um, 
But honestly, I mean, I was telling Aaron, I think, you know, he, he's a guy who he puts so much stress on himself to make every single throw and make the big plays that I think he started doing it a little bit too much, you know, that he was he was trying to put it all on his shoulders to do everything himself and, and really be, you know, the, the superhero of the offense. And we just kind of to step back and we're like, hey, let us help you out, man. You know, don't. We don't have to make big plays every single day. We don't have to, you know, do something spectacular every single play. Let's take what they give us, step back, let, let, let the teammates help you out a little bit. So, um, you know, his stats haven't been what they were in the past. I mean, even yesterday you look and uh, it seemed like, you know, what, what should have been a, a 400-yard day. I mean, I think he had a little over 200 yards passing and um, still had the four touchdowns. But Well, that's because you uh, guys that, felt that, sorry for the Lions in the, in the second <laughs> half and just started running the ball and being conservative, try to try to let your good friends back in the game. That's why, right? <laughs> I didn't want you guys to be too mad at me. When I came <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, TJ, bye week. Um, very early for the bye week for the Packers, which is kind of absurd, I guess. I'm sure you'll take it right now. You said you're a bit feeling uh, after – handling nada for an entire game yesterday. But uh, you coming back to Michigan? How are you spending the time off? Yeah, I am. I'm coming back, actually, uh, tomorrow. We uh, we have a little bit of work to do today. Um, you know, go and watch the tape and probably get a workout. And then I'm coming back tomorrow. So hopefully uh, hopefully they don't kick me out after after the game yesterday. <laughs> but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, when, it, when the schedule first came out and you're looking at a, a week four by, it's like, man, I mean, he really likes to get those right around week nine, week 10, it kind of splits the season in half for yeah, you. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's good timing. I mean, we were, uh, you know, we were down five, uh, five of our best players yesterday on defense. And uh, so we could definitely use the, the time to, to get healthy. And uh, for me, it's, it's going to be fun coming back home and spending some time with my family. I get to go to my brother's uh, football game next Friday. Uh, they're playing at, at Lakeland High School. They're seniors, so it's going to be my last chance to watch them get you know, uh, to get to watch them play football. So, uh, well, that's cool. Really maybe you can to see, man. maybe you can even go to Camarca and bring the Tigers some luck. They sure need it. Yeah, I mean, are, are they at home? Yeah, it's four games starting tonight against Cleveland. <laughs> oh man, I, yeah, I think uh, I think we'll definitely have to get one of those in too. I'm kind of bummed because usually hockey season's starting now, but the World Cup kind of kicked it back. Well, there's actually I think. I think there's a preseason game tomorrow at tomorrow the night. against w- the Penguins. Wings and Pens, TJ, you can be there, buddy. <laughs> oh, well, you know, those preseason games, I mean, they're, they're a little bit more entertaining than NFL preseason. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, 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 let, me, let me ask you this, because, you, you know, you being from around here, you know mm-hmm. that when um, – when Justin Verlander started like dating Kate up, then a lot of the fans were, you know, went crazy when he pitched bad. It was all because of her. You right. guys deal with something similar with Olivia Munn and Aaron Rodgers. I know a lot of fans can't stand her. Is, is, does he laugh about that? What's that like? And you can yeah, say you can I, say no comment, TJ. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think I mean I haven't ever heard him talk about it. Um, you know, but I, obviously I read a lot. I hear a lot of uh, you know radio shows and whatever it is, and I see a lot of stuff. And I think it's just absurd that people bring in uh, professional athletes, you know, their, their personal life into the into the profession. When somebody's struggling, they will automatically want to blame it on the wife or girlfriend. I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty absurd. I'll leave it at that. But, yeah, I feel the – I definitely feel, the, you know, just insane because Aaron goes through it every single day too. So it is what it is, man. You get those high-profile guys that obviously have high-profile uh, – you know, significant others, and, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be nothing but um, but but stories just coming out and reading about them all the time. So I think it's absurd, but, um, you know, it's nothing we can do. It's, it's People are going to keep talking about it. Yep. As long as somebody struggles, they're going to find it. Hey, find TJ, to play around, so. you, you're always great with your time here at the radio station. We really Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, and thanks for getting up early after a, uh, a game yesterday. Enjoy the week off, and we'll talk to you down the road, buddy. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, guys.